Your town grows. Your town changes. Your town celebrates. And your town talks. Join us as we learn what all the buzz is about on Talk of the Town. Wendell artist Susan Bravo has won numerous awards for her paintings, including a first and second place finish at this year's State Fair. The discovery of her artistic talent came after her training to be a science and math teacher did not satisfy her creative spirit. I went on to get my master's and immediately said, what am I doing here with all these test tubes? It's you know, a biology major, really, biology and math. So I bought an old car and I moved to California and I sang my way with the big bands in Detroit to make money to pay for college. So I already had like showbiz under my belt. Just went, eh, this is not fun. I wanted to go have fun. <laughs> and she did have fun and experienced much success. Her singing and acting ability brought her acclaim in Los Angeles and New York, and she even sang for the president. I am driven by my passions. Okay, when I was um, making my way through college, my passion was actually singing. My dad was a minister, but he, was also, he also had a band. And when I was little, he would put me on his shoulders and take me around uh, the room, and they would do dancing together, and I'd be on my dad's shoulder, and he'd be playing the trumpet. It, it was just in me, the music. They chose me to sing the theme song for a movie that they were writing the theme song for. And um, I wasn't famous enough, so I couldn't sing it on the People's Choice Awards. Eddie Albert sang it. In the old days, Detroit, when the car business was hopping, they had exquisite auto shows. I mean, they had thousands and thousands of people in convention centers eating shrimp and squid and you know just all the elegant stuff in the world. I was singing with a big band called the Warney Rule Orchestra and it was truly fantastic old-fashioned sound you know of, of the big band era. I do not miss being on stage. I hated memorization and you know if you're an actress you have to know your lines. With three great uncles who were portrait painters and a great grandfather who was a German sculptor, it was only a matter of time before her artistic talents emerged. I discovered painting and acting at about the same time. I started acting, but I was understudying something on Broadway and I wasn't on stage that much. So when I was backstage, I thought, I'm just wasting my time here. What do I want to do? I'm going to paint a picture. So I bought some oil paints and I started painting a picture and I sold it to somebody in the cast and it was like, well, that was easy. I didn't have to put on makeup or high heels or, uh, you know, memorize anything or try to be impressive. And it was, uh, it was nice. So I started getting that feeling of freedom and enjoying not having to uh, prepare for performing. Her paintings are often defined as magic realism and she draws inspiration from the great impressionistic masters as well as people she comes across in everyday life. The North Carolina Museum of Art is so inspirational to me. It's changed my life over and over and over again. When I get a dry spell, I just go, oh, get in the car all by yourself and go to the Museum of Art and just stand in front of your favorite pictures and figure out what it is that you wanna do that you're inspired by. I love seeing a situation where two people are talking or something like that. Even if I'm walking down the street, I'll see two people doing something that is just so unusual and comical. Usually at about two o'clock in the morning when I can't sleep, this idea comes to me. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna use this person and this person. And I'm going to dress them like this and then I'm, they're gonna have that same look that those two people had on the sidewalk, walking down the sidewalk on Fayetteville Street. And all of a sudden, the whole picture develops just around that one thing that I saw. Bravo frequently includes animals, particularly cats and dogs in her paintings, and has a soft heart when it comes to rescue animals. When I went to the pound, I got really sad. And so we kept trying to save animals that were going to be put down. 
and I would try to find other homes for them, but nobody wanted them, so I kept them. Um, if I need a cat, I just force my cat into a certain position and tell him to stay there. Wait until mommy gets the picture. It's people love their animals, and I didn't really realize that just because I put animals in pictures, the people were gonna like them that much. Painting allows Bravo to explore all of her creative outlets and interests. She often photographs her subjects and particularly loves facial expressions that suggest a personality trait or a moment of drama. Now that I direct people, like these ladies in this painting right here, the, the, it's called In the Blue Room and Goes, goes To. Um, that took first place at the State Fair in 2009. I sell that like crazy. But I had those four ladies, I designed their clothes and their hats, and then I did these photo sessions with them. And all of a sudden, I felt like a director, like the director that used to direct me in plays. And it was amazing, it was powerful. Then they would do something surprising, like something I didn't even ask them to do. And it would be like, oh my gosh, that is so much better than what I was thinking. And I would just go, go with it, go with it, come on, keep going, keep going. And I'd click away and I, they were just so much fun to work with. This painting here that has like 30 people in it, none of them were together. They all came from different photographs and I liked the way they looked together. So I made little stories out of the way I could put them together and little vignettes within the big story, within the big picture. I'm an artist that's struggling to get my work out there and not knowing if I should be in galleries or what I should do next, business-wise, because really all I want to do is paint. Come to the first Friday every month, downtown Raleigh, we have the most fantastic hors d'oeuvres, beer, wine, everybody shoulder to shoulder talking about art. Bravo's talent is obvious and her fun-loving spirit is contagious. Life and the people who live it give her artwork a genuine quality that we can all relate to. If you are interested in her paintings, you can visit her website at susanbravo.com or visit her showroom at Artspace in downtown Raleigh.